Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how to use WebPath Express from our library catalog. So from the Maris Brothers International School webpage, you're going to be going up to the upper left-hand corner of the website, and it's going to be Quick Links, and you're going to be using the drop-down menu to select Library Catalog. Okay, so the library catalog is right there and click on the name of our school, Maris Brothers International School, and it will take us to the library catalog. And from here, let me show you where there are links to WebPath Express. Um, right down here. And there are some videos listed, but I don't recommend those videos so much. Please use this video. Uh, I think it will be more helpful than those. Those are quite basic, and this one will cover uh, our, our library catalog. So um, let's go back up to the main section, to the catalog tab in the upper uh, left-hand side. I'm going to click on catalog. And here is where I'm going to type in what I'm searching for. And I'm going to put in dogs. I can hit the enter button or a keyword. And normally what happens when you do that is you find a whole bunch of books that are in our library that you can uh, check out. But instead of that, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going to the tab the upper tab here and we're going to select the second tab which is websites and now we are in webpath express and what is great about webpath express is that these are websites that were selected by educators so teachers and librarians so instead of um, like having to sift through uh, thousands tens of thousands of websites using google this one will take you to websites that have already been reviewed by educators, by teachers and librarians, and they have been grade level rated. So as you can see, five surprising things about dogs is from kindergarten to second grade and third grade to fifth grade. So it's appropriate for those uh, grade levels. So you already know um, what which websites are going to be most useful for you. And it's uh, concentrating on websites that are educational. We've got the title of the website, uh, the grade levels covered, a short description about the website, and the topic, dogs for this one, and language, English, and the URL uh, link to that website. So for example, this is uh, covering grade levels K to 2 and grades 3 to 5. We can also scroll down. Uh, here's one from the American Kennel Club. It's covering grades three to five, six to eight, and nine to 12. So let me cover how you can use the filters to uh, basically narrow down what you're looking for. So I'm going for format first and you can select from animation, audio, biography, educational game, image collection, interactive, music, video, ebook. Uh, you can also select from source, uh, dictionary, thesaurus, uh, encyclopedias, magazines, maps, atlases, uh, news source, primary source materials. You can also select from related topics, um, uh, dogs, American children's literature, and uh, dogs Care, Cats, uh, Another Major Pet, Pomeranian, Sled Dogs, etc. Uh, let me clear this really quickly so that they don't, we don't get the filter going. We don't want to narrow it too much. And let me go to the very important grade level because you want something that is appropriate for your age. So you got 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 9 to 12, and pre-K to second grade. And finally, Lexile. Uh, if you know what uh, your reading level is, you can select from here. The lower the number, the easier it is. 
domain if you want to narrow it down to a type of website, for example, edu.edu for education, or um, if you want a public website, uh, this is .gov for government. And you can also select from languages. And we've got Arabic, Chinese, English, French, German, Spanish. Um, of course, not all of these languages are going to be available, but you might want to give it a shot if you speak any of these languages. So I've selected uh, Pre-K to 2, and then I'm going to be clicking on Get Results. Right now we're at 1,000 websites. We, we really want to cut that down. That's a little bit too excessive. So Pre-K to 2, click on Get Results, and let's see how much it decreases. Uh, we are down to 157 websites about uh, dogs in the uh, K to 2 range. So this should be much more useful. So I'll be selecting Dog Family, which covers grades uh, K to 2, 3 to 5, and 6 to 8. It's at easyscienceforkids.com. And after it loads up, we can see that it's uh, concentrating on dog family descriptions, um, illustrations, uh, dogs that are in the canine family, fun facts about dogs, and dog family vocabulary. And a fun video, top 10 family dog breeds that are kid friendly. And a question and answer section about dog facts. In addition, you will find links to other types of dogs and categories of dogs. So that is dog family. Uh, let me show you a different way to access Webpath Express now. So I'm clicking on Catalog. I want to show you a different way to get to Webpath Express, and that is from the left-hand menu. So I'm going to click on Webpath Express, and it takes me to the main Webpath Express uh, site. And uh, each month, there's a different topic. This month is uh, Women's History Month, so it's covering... Um, it's spotlighting on uh, women's suffrage. And you can also see that hot topics are listed there. Coronavirus, how to wash your hands, educational games, hey, hey. And then scrolling through here, these are different subjects that you can look at by clicking on the icons. And you can do a pure visual search by clicking on that tab. And here we have different uh, subjects that are covered and you can use these visuals to help you narrow down what you're looking for. So for example, I chose arts and architecture and then I'm gonna go with uh, modern art, okay. And I will select abstract expressionism. All right, click on find it. And as you can see, this is these websites, uh, there are 15 in all, uh, are mainly for older kids, for uh, 6 to 8, 9 to 12. And um, let me go back uh, to the previous pages. And let me select something that is closer to uh, your age. So I'm going with uh, Famous Works of Art. And when I click on that, we get uh, the Mona Lisa in the center. I think uh, many people throughout the world know this one for sure. So it takes us to the website Who Was Mona Lisa for grades uh, 3 to 5 and 6 to 8. And there's other websites, but I can see that they are for higher grade levels. So let's go with the very first one, Who is Mona Lisa? Because that covers grades uh, 3 to 5. 
takes us to a website called Wonderopolis. And here we have different um, questions that are going to be answered in this, uh, links to videos and pictures about the Mona Lisa, also links to the artist uh, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci, and uh, different uh, websites that you can click on to get more information. So let's back up here, back to the main Webpath Express page, and back to the regular search where you just type out what you're looking for. This time I'm going to go for cats. And as you can see, this covers the subject of domestic cats. I'm going to narrow this down to pre-K to second grade. So preschool to second grade. And let's see what's here. Eight neat things you may not know about kitty. So everything here is in the K to two age range. Plus it might have a wider, uh, what is it? Coverage of grades. So let's click on DK find out six facts about cats. So, uh, here we go. October 29th is International Cat Day. I didn't know that. So we've got these uh, wonderful photographs, images that DK is famous for. And you can learn all kinds of uh, interesting facts about cats and the different breeds of cats. In addition, there are links all throughout there. Um, so that is Webpath Express. We hope you use it. Um, don't forget there are two ways to use it, either through the regular library search and then click on that website tab or using the Webpath Express uh, direct link in the left corner. Thank you.